Hi you guys, welcome back. So today, once again, I'm in a little bit of a different setting because I'm still not home yet, but you guys know how I love to come to you guys, do different eye looks, talk about palettes, swatches, all that good stuff. So yes, here I am, it's your girl KK, wanting to talk to you guys about the Anastasia Beverly Hills Riviera palette. Now you guys knew I was gonna pick this up. I did go ahead and grab it while I'm here out of town, just so that I could play in it, do a video, have some fun. And I actually did two looks for you guys, okay? Not just one, I actually did two. So, there's gonna be two looks in this video. And I just wanted to briefly talk about my thoughts about this palette because I'm sure this is gonna be the 156,000th video <laughs> that is going up on YouTube about this palette and it gets kind of repetitive sometimes. So anyway, just my initial thoughts on this palette. Of course, Anastasia Beverly Hills has a really, really nice formula. The mattes blend it out incredibly. I mean, I really look for how mattes blend together. Like when you put a light over a dark or a dark over a light, how does it blend together? And in this palette, it blends out really, really nicely. I really like how I was able to blend out my crease color and my upper eyelid color together. It really blends nicely. The pigmentation is amazing. Let me go ahead and open it while I'm talking about it, okay? It does come with a brush like all the ABH palettes do. And I actually did not use my brush today, which is surprising because I'm out of town and I don't have all my brushes, but I didn't use it. It comes with a little covering, of course, and it looks like this. <laughs> I know you guys have seen this a bazillion times, but it really is something to see in person. It's absolutely gorgeous, you guys. For ABH to dive into color, they really did a great job with this palette because just the combination of pinks and purples and the gorgeous shimmer shades up top are just a really nice grouping of colors. The color story is beautiful. And it's not so wild and crazy that if you just wanna play around with color, you kinda of get intimidated. You can just do a little color and still feel like you're doing something. Or, you know, it even has these nice warmer, like this brown and these tans. It has some nice neutral shades just in case you are like, okay, I don't want to spend $45 on a palette because I don't wear color all the time. If you purchase this palette, you can still do a nice, simple, just kind of neutral everyday look as well. And you can go really, really bright and bold. I did this look today with the color and I really like how it turned out. I tried to do a little bit more of a subtle cut crease, not anything extremely bold, even though for some, <laughs> this look will be extremely bold. But for me, I feel like it's a little bit more of kind of a, a soft, colorful look. So that is the colorful look I did today. I also did a neutral look for you guys to check out as well, but just my initial thoughts, the eyeshadows do have kick up, okay? If you're familiar with ABH palettes, this is one of her palettes that does have kick up. And since I'm kind of familiar with that, I do know to just kind of tap, 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 you know, just gently tap into the color and you're really gonna get a nice pigment payoff. You don't have to dig and swirl your brush into these shadows. Now the shimmers, are pretty soft in my opinion they're pretty soft so they can be a bit crumbly although to get the pigment payoff you don't have to spray your brush i would suggest spraying your brush just so you don't have so much fallout and just glitter all over your face when you're using this gorgeous these gorgeous shimmer shades up top so that's just my first impression thoughts and suggestions on the colors in this palette i did use Wow, I used every single shade on this top row. I'm just realizing that. I used every shade on the top row. And on the bottom row, I used, I think everything but maybe this one here, actually. These two or this one here. 
So I've used almost every shade in this palette and I must say they are really pigmented, very nice to work with. ABH formula is very nice and this is no different. It definitely is there with the color, the pigment, the blendation <laughs> and all of that you guys. So I have no complaints about this palette. If you're not really that keen on fallout and things like that, then it might bother you. But honestly, to me, it's not anything crazy or abnormal. I like it. So that's my first impression on this palette. I really, really enjoy the fact that it has this cute little kind of nautical packaging. If you don't already know about me, I love water, I love the ocean, I love being on boats, and so this just really kind of gives me that feel of just being out there on the water, in a boat, deck shoes, all of that. <laughs> so I really like it, and it's a nice change from that usual suede packaging. You know, this is kind of like a canvas or denim type feel, really nice with the gold writing. It does have this little sticker on the back with some information for you, but just your basic um, ABH size palette. Same as all the rest of the palettes, but the packaging is really nice this time. Nice change of pace. So anyway, like I said, I didn't want to talk too much, even though I feel like I said too much already. But I didn't want to just go on and on about this palette. Let me just go ahead and do some quick swatches, and then we'll jump into these two eye looks. for this palette you guys hopefully you will enjoy watching me create the two looks that I came up with for this palette one a little bit more neutral this one a little bit more colorful but I really had a good time playing around in this palette and I look forward to using it a lot more in the future so if you'd like to see the two looks that I created then stay tuned because it's coming up next <laughs> 